Howdy, y'all. Mr. Kaji coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas, with episode four in Predicting Reactions. You will practice predicting the products, writing chemical equations, writing net ionic equations, and using your solubility rules. So you will need a periodic table, you will need a polyatomic ion chart, and you're going to need your solubility rules. Some assumptions I will make, one, that you know how to name chemicals, two, you can recognize types of reactions, that you know how to write net ionic equations, and you understand solubility rules. Now, if you're having trouble with any of these areas, then you need to go and check out my YouTube channel for more videos. Your assumptions should be that in all cases, a chemical reaction will occur. Solutions are aqueous unless otherwise stated. You should represent substances in solution as ions and omit ions that are unchanged by the reaction. Let's review the how-to of writing uh, chemical equations. One, you need to determine the reactants and the products. Then write formulas for everything. Put the reactants on the left and draw an arrow and then put the products on the right. Finally, balance. Now remember, you must omit ions or molecules that are unchanged by the reaction. Basically, write a net ionic equation. Are you ready? Let's go. Predict the products. Solid ammonium carbonate is strongly heated. Well, we have ammonium carbonate, so let's write the formula for that. Now that's going to be NH4CO3. Now there's going to be two NH4 polyatomic ions because we need to balance the charges of the uh, ammonium and the carbonate. And there's only one reactant, so that tells us it's a decomposition reaction. And it is being strongly heated, so we know that that is going to more than likely uh, dehydrate it. And we're going to get NH3, which is ammonia, carbon dioxide gas, and water gas or vapor. Now let's balance the equation. We have two uh, ammonium ions, which gives us two nitrogens and eight hydrogens. Well, I look over on the other side and I have only one nitrogen uh, and I only have five hydrogens. So let's make that a two there. And that balances everything. It's balanced. And guess what? No spectator ions. There is no net ionic equation. Well, that was pretty easy and quick. Let's recap. You wrote uh, formulas. You reviewed the rules for writing equations. You practiced writing chemical equations. You predicted the products and you used your solubility rules. Well, maybe not this time. Send an email uh, to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com if you have any questions. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Happy eyes, y'all.